In today's video, we're going to discuss cutting the grass with a gasoline mower versus an electronic mower. So hit the subscribe button and let's get into it. All right, this is my low voltage electric lawn mower. And when I first heard of these devices, I thought that it was the most wacky, crazy, and downright stupid idea I ever heard. I could not conceive of cutting grass with an extension cord throughout my whole lawn and all of the obstacles that that might present. But when I did some research about the pollutants that are left within your soil from a gasoline mower, the choice became obvious very, very fast. And although I will say it outright, this is a rather inconvenient solution, I feel like the benefits outweigh the disadvantages. So what are the disadvantages? Let's clear that up just from the get-go because I think most of you even looking at this mower uh, are feeling the same way that I felt when I first heard about this as a possibility. It's small, it's puny, it's weak. Um, it clogs up quite easily uh, because electric mowers are not as popular as gas mowers. They are not produced in, uh, I, I believe, uh, as high of a quality as a gas mower might be. So durability becomes a huge issue. This is my third one. Typically this contact is the first thing to go. Um, this is what uh, you know enables the power to the mower's engine. It has a bag that is very flimsy, constantly falls off. It backs up quite easily. And I cannot emphasize this enough with an electronic mower, you categorically cannot cut the grass when it's wet, when there's dew, when there's a children's pool in the yard, when someone is watering the lawn. I mean, if you are mowing the grass with this thing, someone takes a garden hose and sprays you down, uh, what would have otherwise been a prank could end up with a hospital visit or much, much worse. So those are huge, huge disadvantages. Uh, the other thing that I find uh, to be a little bit scary about this is because it's so compact, when you are unclogging the grass uh, from the blades, you get your fingers right in there. And if God forbid you should you know, be rushing and, and still have your other hand on the trigger, I feel like it could take your fingers right off. So yes, there are some huge disadvantages to an electronic mower, but now that we got that out of the way, I want to talk about the advantages and why I use this device. So the first thing is uh, we don't have to support the oil, we don't have to support the oil industry if we have an electronic mower. Uh, the same as many of you might drive a Tesla, a Prius, or other uh, you know, electric powered cars, this is a great solution to take that notion to the next level, of course, you know, unless you're a huge hypocrite. And when it comes to the footprint of this machine versus one of those cars, it's practically insignificant because there's no battery. So it doesn't need as many elements that would be harvest and deep mine that pollute the earth. Uh, it is a direct trade-off, especially if you have access to renewable energy, solar panels, things of that nature. You can really cut your grass and maintain your lawn in a renewable way. It's the next best thing to doing it manually, which I'm also considering. So that's one very, very big advantage. The pollution that comes out of a gas mower stinks like hell. And when we have our cherry trees blossoming, the tulips coming in, lilacs over there, the fragrances in the garden is like, you know, 90% of the experience. And I find that when I cut the grass with the electronic mower as opposed to a gas mower, I get to enjoy the scent of those flowers throughout the duration of my mowing. So I, I find it to be very, very relaxing. Speaking of relaxing, this is only 96 decibels loud. So uh, it's very, very quiet. It won't hurt your ears. Uh, if you want to listen to podcasts as you cut the grass, you can easily do so without having to blare your music. It's funny, gardening you wouldn't imagine could bring uh, health risks in so many forms, including hearing loss. But when it comes to cutting grass with a machine, that's very much the case. 
if you use this as your solution, no worries, you're all good. Uh, the other thing that I love about my electronic motor, and this is uh, for people who have condensed spaces uh, that you can quite easily store it, not even in, if you don't have a garage, you could easily clean it up and store it inside of a closet. It folds up to practically nothing. And then in the winter time, it doesn't clutter up my house. So uh, cons versus the pros are quite obvious. I don't believe that I'll convert many people with this video, but I would recommend that if you're one of these people who are preachy about being kind to the environment, you explore this as an option because otherwise you're nothing but a big fat hypocrite. That's today's video. Thanks for watching Great Gardening. Leave your comment below. Let me know what you honestly think of this device. I think one drawback and perhaps the only reason I might consider going back to a gas mower is that uh, the noise would disturb my neighbors. And as some of you know, there's been a little bit of tension between us, uh, hence my beautiful privacy wall. We don't need to go into details on that, but uh, maybe it would be some case to be considered. Thanks for watching Great Gardening. See ya.